Hey everyone, Big Paul here back for another video. Oh yes, baby. Back for some Blu-ray Monday shopping or hunting. Uh, wait a minute, I hear you say. There's nothing out today. I know. In fact, there's shit all out today. But we are still going to head off, do a little bit of Blu-ray shopping, pop into Sainsbury's, Tesco's and all the usual stuff, Poundland, plus a visit to HMV. Oh, yes, baby. We're going to go and see if we can have a look, to see if we can find some, some bargains, as they didn't have everything stickered up when the last time I was down there. So I should imagine it would be quite busy, um, being New Year's Eve and also the fact that the recent HMV news. So let's go and have a look and see what there is. Oh, yes. And while we're down there, we might pop into Smith's Toys or something. I've got a couple of hours. Um, I've got a doctor's appointment this afternoon, but um, we've got about four or five hours. So let's head off down to Westwood Cross. Try and find somewhere to park. If not, we'll have to park in the Sainsbury's car park and go and have a look around and see what shit there is. See you down there. Okay, so we're at Sainsbury's, so let's pop in and have a look, see if they've got anything. Okay, so obviously there's nothing at the top of the escalator uh, because there's no new releases out. No new releases? What? But let's head over to the Blu-ray and the DVD section and see if there's any bargains over there. Okay, so here we are at the Blu-ray chart. So as I say, no new releases this week. But uh, let's have a look to see if we can find any decent stuff or any reduced stuff. Uh, they still got They Shall Not Grow Old, which was really good. I don't know if anybody saw the 3D version of that. That's supposed to be quite good. Plus we got the final score as well, which I saw on Sky. Um, any bargains down here? Uh, we've got Firefly. Complete see well I was gonna say complete first series, but they never did anymore, did they? I really wish they had done loads more of this. This could have lasted for a few years. One of my favourite shows, Firefly. That's twelve pounds uh, or part of the two for twenty-five. Uh, we've got the complete Hunger Games series there as well for thirteen pounds. And the Dark Man trilogy for 12. Ooh, what the? 70 quid? Oh, that's seasons 1 to 7 of Game of Thrones. Uh, Ocean's 8 is 15 pounds, or included in the 2 for 25. Let's have a look over here. Uh, Yes, yeah, a lot of these are included in the 2 for 25 now, the uh, the recent releases. Mission Impossible, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Sherlock Gnomes. I was going to go and see this with Claire at the cinema. We never got round to it. But it looks quite fun. £13. And they've got the Meg on 4K there, still for 25 so they're not bringing any of the uh, the 4K prices down here in Sainsbury's. Plus also Ant-Man and the Wasp and Equalizer 2 as well. Uh, Harry Potter complete series on Blu-ray for £40. I've seen it cheaper than that. Plus they have the Star Trek series. Uh, Star Trek Discovery. And that's £28 but I'm sure I saw that in CEX for about £28 as well. And that would have been second hand. Plus the Lion King here for £20. Some more reduced ones. We've got The Expanse, Seasons 1 and 2. And Hereditary there for £13. I think that's about it on the Blu-rays. Uh, see if there's anything different over on the, on the uh, DVDs. That looks all the same. It's exactly the same spot as it was last week, so nothing's moved. And this Darkest Minds, which I picked up in HMV as one of their HMV exclusives on Blu-ray, there was never a 4K release over here, but it's actually on iTunes in 4K. So um, I'm wondering whether or not I should have picked that up or just, you know, just bought it off, uh, off iTunes. There's a couple of things down here. Black 47. 
an Irish box office phenomenon, phenomenon, an Irish Braveheart. Ooh, that's interesting. Not heard of that one before. Plus, what we got is Strong by Zumba. High intensity. Oh yeah, right. Well, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'll pass on that one. And we've got a five film collection down here on DVD for the Pink Panther, Peter Sellers collection. So that's pretty good, and that's only ten pounds for five films. Let's see what else we got up here. Ah, la 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 la. We've got Laurel, the very best of Laurel and Hardy for five pounds. Hoping to go and see the uh, the new film Stan and Ollie sometime in the next two weeks. It's a Cliff Richard anniversary special I bought my dad. I think I paid £13 for that about two weeks ago. Uh, no, there's no real reductions on DVDs. And I take it there's probably no TV seasons out. Nope, nothing at all. Uh, still looking at this Space Precinct here for £25. I just wish that would come down just a little bit. Even if it had dipped down to about £17, I'd probably be tempted. Blackadder Remastered Ultimate Edition. £10? Is that the complete season? This Ultimate Edition includes all four series digitally remastered plus a whole host of special features. Wow! And it's got a nice little gold foil emblem, you know, Lego. That's not bad, that's ten, only £10. Ten pounds. That's pretty good. That's quite a good price. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, nothing screaming out at me on the TV sections. We've got this Jumanji here on DVD with this this nice, really nice slip. On. Look, you can see it's got some spot gloss on it, and that's five pounds. The way way back, three pounds. Oh, Sam, what call? We've got the uh, the best exotic marigold hotel which I picked up in Poundland. Well but spooks the greater good. Never did see that. Loved the series. Never did get around to seeing the movie. If it's any good let me know. Because I'm really thinking of wanting to see that. One disc edition of the Abyss for five pounds. If only we could get a Blu-ray or even a 4K of this. I think 4K with HDR. I think I'll blow my top. Come on, James Cameron, hurry up and move. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, we've got Close Encounters of the Third Kind for four pounds. Oh, Godzilla on DVD. For three quid, blimey, that's a bargain. Good film, really enjoyed that film. Deepwater Horizon there for five pounds. Oh, Xanadu? Crikey, I haven't seen that in yonks. Blimey, five pounds. I like the toy section and the collectibles. Uh, they don't seem to have reduced anything in here. Um, even Thor's hammers still only thirteen pounds. Yeah, there's no redu reductions here at all. I find that very strange. Even the uh, the Jurassic World series is all same price. Oh well. Okay, so kind of knew there wasn't going to be anything interesting today. So uh, just having a look to see if they've got any bargains, any reduced blu-ray titles but let's head over to uh hmv 
and Poundland before we hit Tesco's. Uh, and maybe maybe we'll stop in at Smith's as well and have a look at the pops. Let's head over there then. Nice big bag of goodies. Oh yes, I'll show you at the end of the video. Um, I thought we'd pop into Poundland, have a look, see if they've had a delivery just before the new year. They probably haven't, they probably won't get any in until after the new year, but it's worth having a look anyway. Let's go and have a look in Poundland. Oh, have you got any Blu-rays? Okay, no, it doesn't look like it. it looks like they just got the, uh, the same ones in that they had in last week. Some of the ones leftovers. Yeah, and there's no boxes up the top, so. So, didn't think they would have any in before the new year. So we'll wait until after the new year before heading back here. No boxes on the top as well. So uh, let's go and have a look in Smith's Toys and see if they've got any discounted stuff in there, shall we? Oh, yes, to the toy shop. Okay, let's pop into Smith's and have a look, see if they've got anything interesting in the shelves. Well, it doesn't look like any of the pops are actually discounted. In fact, I think most of them haven't even got any prices on them. And on the pops, the large, extra large ones, they've got quite a few of them now. So they've got the Porg, which I purchased. They've got the Thanos one, plus the Demogorgon. Plus they also have this Harry Potter entering platform nine and three quarters for £29.99. That's pretty good. They have got some merchandising for the new How to Train Your Dragon film, which I still haven't seen any of those films, but uh, I really must brush up before heading off to the cinema to see the third one. But uh, it's nice that they've got it in this early. Plus I still have all the Harry Potter stuff. Um, they have reduced some of the figures, only by two pounds, but it's a little bit of a discount. Plus the sorting hat is 39.99. Lots of the Jurassic World stuff has been reduced as well. 
talking about the giant T-Rex there, that one hasn't, that's still 32.99. But a lot of these figures have been reduced by about, only about two pounds each. Plus also the, some of the Avengers stuff has been reduced. That's down by about three pounds for some of the figures. A lot of the other figures are just the regular price, so they haven't been reduced. I am Batman. Oof, not at 40 quid, you're not. And while we're at it, let's just sling all the Aquaman stuff at the bottom there. Lots of Toy Story stuff. This is only going to get bigger with the release of Toy Story 4, which I am really looking forward to. And there's a giant wooden bullseye down here. Over 10 horse sounds and music and interactive galloping sounds with vibration. <laughs> nice. Also that Star Wars figure box set that was £80 in Tesco's is £24.99 in here. Also while we're down here I've got a voucher for Costa so let's pop in there go and get some something to drink and maybe something to nibble on. Okay, yes, so just come out of HMV and Costa, because <laughs> you've got to have a coffee, and Poundland. I did pick up quite a big bag in HMV. Let's have a look, see how many we got. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I picked up six. Two of those are for the group buys. So I've, I've picked up four titles for myself, which I shall show you when we get home. Oh yes, um, I also picked up a couple of magazines which I'll show you as well. Um, HMV, not overly busting with people fighting each other to get titles. Um, a lot of staff in there today, uh, they were all up, upbeat. Yes, they were all upbeat, which was really good. Um, they were carrying around lots of boxes, refilling shelves with all new titles. I've got some good discounted titles in the uh, the sale. And everybody was just going about their business. And obviously the pure points, um, I had just over 100,000 points, which unfortunately I was too late to translate those into a £20 credit. Because the, uh, the website is down. It's been down for like three or four days, stating under maintenance. But um, I said at the counter, I said, I suppose there's no point giving you my pure points card you know, to put the points on. She goes, no, we're still putting points on. So they're still adding points to the card. Whether or not you can use it, <laughs> we'll have to see. But um, yeah, we'll have to see. So that's going to push my points up probably probably another good 20,000 or so, maybe a good 20,000. So hopefully things will work out and um, I'll eventually get up to 150,000 points and we can have a 50 pound blowout in HMV. Yes. Yes, so if you haven't been down to your local HMV, if you've got a local HMV, get down there. Get down there and support them, show them you love them and um, buy a couple of bits and pieces while you're down there because if HMV disappears off the high street, what have we got? What have we got for physical media on the high street? We'll be going to Tesco's and Sainsbury's every day. <laughs> now, get down there, su support your, um, your HMV because they really do need it. And I think they were upbeat today because of the amount of people that were in there buying things. There were people with bigger bundles than I had. So um, I think they, you know, they're, they're happy that people are supporting them and, and buying stuff. So anyway, um, before I head off home to my doctor's appointment, that kind of shit, we're going to pop in quickly into Tesco's and have a look. I don't expect any titles because there's nothing out this week, as I said, but um, there might be a couple of, maybe a couple of discounted stuff or... Well, we'll go and have a look, see how much they're, they're still selling those Star Wars figures for. Do you remember it was 80 quid that last Jedi box set and then it was 40 quid and it's 40 quid last week 
And then that lady told me last week, it's £25 in Smith's. It was, it was £24.99. So we'll go and have a look and see if they've stuck that in. This. I tell you what, if they've stuck that in the sale and it's under a tenner, I'm picking it up. <laughs> but um, if they've raised it and it's still 80 quid again, I shall not be happy. But yes, I, I mean, I could go and pick up that £24.99 one, but it's still a little bit too dear for me, I think. Um, if I could get it for 10 quid or under, I'll be happy. So let's head off into Tesco's and have a look and try not to get tranched on by the hordes and hordes of New Year's Eve shoppers shopping up on their booze and shit. Let's get into Sainsbury's. No, we're not. We're going into Tesco's. Oh, God, I don't know where I am today. <laughs> OK, so where are we going? We're going to T to the E to the S to the C to the O. Tesco. Oh, yes, baby. OK, no, look, primarily empty shell, so. And there's nothing special. Doesn't look like there's any discounted stuff. Always a few things on DVD, maybe Hurricane for three pound. And Darkest Hour on seven pound DVD. Pacific Rim Uprising there for five pounds as well. Here we are, some more discounted stuff. Oh, so that's my, oh, that's a really nice sleeve. Hit for five pounds. With a nice bit of uh, spot gloss on there. Very nice cover. And the Twilight DVD box set is actually £20, which is actually dearer than the Blu-ray box set that I bought. But I do have the Hunger Games complete four film collection on DVD there for £5. That's a good deal. And they've still got another Christmas film, so if you want to pick up some Christmas films on DVD, they're all pretty cheap. Okay, so here we are. And the price is £28, which is much better. Still a little bit too dear though, and they've got a hoard of them to get rid of. So I think we'll wait and see if they come down a little bit further. Why is Rocket in Incredibles 2? Okay, so nothing special really. I won't pick up that Star Wars figure box set. Still a little bit too dear, even at £25. But uh, let's head off back to the car, get back to Dover, because I've got my doctor's appointment, which I'll tell you a little bit about later on. And then we'll head home and I'll show you what I picked up today. Oh yes, baby. Okay, so we are back from the shops, back from HMV and all the other lovely goodness. Before I get going, I just wanted to give you a quick heads up. Now, I know I haven't done a weight loss health video for a while, since way before Christmas, uh, which I'll start kicking in again in January. You know, New Year's resolution and all that shit. <laughs> I, need to, I need to get rid of the pounds I put on over Christmas. I did put a few on, I must admit. But um, I have a plan. I have a cunning plan. But yes, anyway, so my trip to, and I'll start those videos back up again in January as well. Uh, those monthly weigh-ins. Uh, yes, my trip to the doctors. So it wasn't anything to do with my food. My food, my foot, dear me, um, before Christmas two weeks ago, I got like a red rash on my chest. I know you don't want to hear about all this shit. Uh, and it's very itchy. And the doctors prescribed me a couple of <laughs> oh, shampoos and ointments. I thought he was just going to give me antibiotics, but obviously not. He's given me something called hydrocortisone myconzone, something. It's an ointment, some kind of ointment. Uh, yeah, mycosol nitrate with some kind of shit on it. 
that, whatever that is. If there's any doctors or nurses out there, maybe you can translate what that's supposed to do. Uh, and also, he's given me some Nizoral. Nizoral shampoo. And told me that I should... Uh, for external use only. Well, of course I'm going to use it outside of the box. What dick? <laughs> um, yeah. Well, it says anti-dandruff shampoo on here. Look, it says... Anti-dandruff. I've got no bloody dandruff. I've had my hair cut as well. Cheeky bastard. But anyway, whatever it is, I've got to use that. And um, it will get rid of my itching and and get my um, redness down. It's got some red patches across there. Oh, God, yeah, I'm sure you want to hear about all that shit. You've got your own problems to worry about. Anyway, um, right, what did we pick up today? Right, first thing I picked up was a lovely magazine, which I've been waiting for this magazine for maybe a week. It was supposed to have been out before Christmas, but uh, obviously delays and all that kind of shit. The new issue of Home Cinema Choice. Oh, yes, I love reading this magazine. It, do you know what I like I like doing? I like picking up the latest issue and going either to my little cafe in the morning to have breakfast and have a good old read or to pop into Tesco's lunchtime, have a lovely baked potato, cappuccino and just read a book. Read a book, read a magazine. Helps me relax. So yes, so I'll be doing that probably, probably not tomorrow because it's New Year's Day, isn't it? Yes. Blu-rays that I picked up in it and I tell you, boy. Right, okay, so I've got four titles. Um, I did pick up another two, which as I say, were for the group buy. So I'll be shipping those out to the group buys. Let me go through the Blu-rays I picked up. And these were all bargain prices. Okay, so the first one I picked up was a bargain. And I've been wanting to see this since I first saw the trailer. It's a, a sweeping romantic epic. Breathtaking. Yeah, not my usual sort of thing. Blowing up shit and spaceships. Uh, it's called The Light Between Oceans with Michael Fassbender and uh, Alicia Vikander, their husband and wife in real life, if you didn't know. Yes, Michael Fassbender, you lucky bastard. Yes, I really like Alicia Vikander ever since I first saw her in Man From Uncle with Henry Cavill and what's the other bloke called Army Hammer. I really like that film, Man, um, I was going to call it Man in a Suitcase, Man from Uncle. It's a really good film, and I've got that on a nice still book. So yes, I've been looking forward to watching this one, but um, I've just never got around to picking it up. And um, I'm just really liking Alicia Vikander's movies. I love Tomb Raider, so it'd be really nice to, to see that and to get swept away. Hopefully this will be more romantic than Fifty Shades of Bollocks. <laughs> that was £2.99 down from £8.99. So even though it ain't got a slit, I'm not bothered for £2.99. Marvellous. Uh, next one up is another extended one. Uh, this one was £8.99 and this one is now £3.99. And I've never seen this one and I've been meaning to see this one for ages. Uh, and this is Baywatch, the extended cut, the extended edition. Uh, take that however you way you want it. But yes, um, I remember seeing all the trailers for this, and I was a big fan of the Baywatch TV series with Pamela Anderson and all, and the Hoff. Um, it's got Alexandra D'Addario. And apparently the on-screen chemistry between Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron is pretty good in this. Apparently it's really funny. Um, and I know that they've not gone out to... Because, I mean, when they, made, when they made this, they could have just made it a straight... A straight film. You know, just... No 
bonkers stuff or anything like that. And it says big bonkers and big bonkers and brilliant. They knew they had to make it tongue in cheek because no one was going to take a, a film like that seriously, were they? <laughs> I mean, the TV series wasn't a comedy, and they had they knew that they had to do it tongue in cheek. So I'm looking forward to watching that. And yes, no slip, but for three pounds ninety nine, who cares? Uh, my last two, I've been meaning to catch up with these ones for a long time. I never saw the third film in this trilogy. Uh, and I did show this packaging error last year in my video. It's the complete Madagascar collection, all three movies. Now, I've, I remember Madagascar, the first film, I vaguely remember Escape to Africa, but it's been such a long time since I've seen it. But I've never seen the third film. It's a shame that they're not all in 3D. Europe's most wanted, but it is a series of movies that I really enjoy. Just like the Shrek films and the Kung Fu Pandas. I think they actually do a Kung Fu Panda trilogy series like this, like this type of packaging. It's in a slim case, which is really nice. Uh, and it was £9.99. Down from 16. So that's not bad. Under a tenner. For a nicely packaged animated trilogy. And as you can see at the top there. We've got the Blu-ray logo. But when you turn it over on the back. Up, at it, up here. It says three disc DVD collection. So somebody cocked up on the old uh, proofreading. On, on the packaging. But uh, maybe that's why it's £9.99. <laughs> but no. I'm happy that I picked that up. As I say, it's just a standard Amaray case, so it's probably got a couple of little flip. Uh, that's one thing I didn't check, actually, before I left HMV, that the tags are missing. God, we better check now, haven't we? <sighs> Thank God for that. <laughs> I don't want to be going back there again anytime soon, not uh, until we've got some major releases. Um, and this is one of those love-hate movies. Um, my fourth pickup. I'm hoping to go and see the third film in this trilogy with Claire. We've been meaning to go and see it, but um, I'm not sure how long it's going to continue at the cinema until it goes. And this is a steal because this was in um, this was in Tesco's this this double pack for eight quid on Blu-ray. I got it for three pound ninety nine. It was originally seven ninety nine. Rowan Atkinson, the Johnny English movies, both of them, Johnny English and Johnny English Returns, in a nice little double pack. I know there'll be a third. Well, there is a third film because we want to go and see it, um, and they'll probably end up being a Johnny English trilogy box set. But to be perfectly honest, I've got both films here for £3.99. I'll just add the next one. I don't have to have a full trilogy box set. I mean, if I can get a full trilogy box set for the same price eventually, I might get it. But I'm perfectly happy with that. And uh, I, the first time I went to see the very first Johnny English movie when it first came out, myself and Lulu, this was before... Um, before Lulu met Claire, way back, we're talking, God, oh, must be like 15 years or something. And we were on the M20, which is a motorway between Dover and London. Um, um, I picked Lou up and we were going up to Ashford, to Cineworld, where I used to go and see films with her. And we got stuck in a traffic jam, in an accident. Um... And we did make the movie. We did actually end up getting to the cinema. But I think it was the next performance. I can't quite remember. But I think we missed our initial performance. Or it could have been another day actually. It could have been another day. Where we got stuck in traffic. Missed the performance. Decided just to go back to the, back to the, uh, the house. I can't quite remember because it's such a long time ago, but I do remember Lulu saying that after she'd seen the first Johnny English that 
she wished that she was still a stuck in traffic. <laughs> Lulu doesn't like them. She's not that. She's not that hot on them. But uh, Claire loves them, just like me. Uh, they're just wacky, comedic, tongue in cheek shit, isn't it? So yes. So I'm hoping to see the third one with Claire soon. Hopefully this month before it goes. So they are my four pickups for today. Only cheapies. That was like, what's that? 10, 14, 14, 17, 21 quid. 21 pounds for four Blu-rays. That's less than the five for 30 quid. And in fact, I've got three, four, five, seven movies seven movies there for 21 quid so that's not bad that's not a bad deal hmv and i think if hmv pull through this problems that they're having and manage to lower a lot of their prices not maybe as much as like 3.99 but for catalog titles if they manage to sort of like pull the prices down it's going to be more of an incentive for people to go in there because um, if HMV disappears off our high street, oh dear me, no. It's going to be so painful. Where are we going to shop? To be perfectly honest, I know supermarkets, you know, the stock, the um, the chart titles. And <laughs> we're not going to rely on Poundland to pick up Blu-rays off the high street. But if HMV went, Our main outlet for purchasing Blu-rays on the high street would be CEX. I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. But um, anyway, let's hope. Let's hope everything pulls through. Uh, so what is happening this week? Right. I'm off for the next two weeks. Yay. Yes, I can finally have a rest after Christmas. Well, everybody's going back to work. So I've got a couple of cinema trips planned in the next two weeks. Catching up on a few things. I haven't seen Mortal Engines, if that's still on. Uh, and I haven't seen Bumblebee. I need to see Bumblebee. Um, videos I've got lined up this week. I've got my November and December Blu-ray haul, which is bloody hell. It's quite a stack. Um, probably the most titles that I've picked up. November was an onslaught in picking titles up. Um, but uh, I was a little bit late in doing the video for the November, so I just put it together with December so that we could have a nice big long one. Nice big long Blu-ray uh, update. So that'd be good. That'd be in the next couple of days, next two or three days. Plus my countdowns, I've got my... 2018 top movie countdown, so top 10 list, and my 2019 most anticipated movies. So I'm looking forward to doing both of those. Um, I also have the Q&A, which I started um, on my Facebook group about a year ago. <laughs> no, it was about six months ago. I had a few questions on there, but also you supplied me with lots and lots of questions uh, a couple of weeks ago so i shall be doing the q and a oh yes uh what else we got lined up we've got uh what's in the poundland bin will be back on sunday oh yeah uh we've also got the 50 shades of destruction video which will be coming up that might not hit straight away because it's taking it, it's going to take some time and preparation to get 50 shades of destruction filmed because when you think about it i've got to destroy these discs 50 different ways i've got a load of ideas lined up some of them are hilarious uh, and some of them i could probably get arrested I better not use any drones that I <laughs> especially near any airports or any kind of shit like that. Yes, okay. So they are the videos that we've got lined up. Lots more videos to come. Plus I shall be doing a scavenger hunt sometime hopefully in February. 
um, and there'll also be some live chats coming up as well. There should have been a live chat a couple of days ago. I was working Sunday just on, which was a no-no. Um, so I'll probably do that maybe midweek. If not midweek, then it's going to be next weekend. Plus, we got some giveaways. We got 10 Blu-rays to give away. Oh, yes. So I hope you enjoyed today's little New Year's Eve out and about. And Blu-ray hunting and all that kind of shit. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Jolly knees up and you ate a lot of food and drank a lot of drink and got pissed a lot and all that kind of stuff. And um, if you don't enjoy Christmas and you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you had a relaxing couple of days. <laughs> it's New Year's Eve now, so this video will be going out before the New Year celebrations. I know a lot of you may be out celebrating. Me, personally, I'm going to be sitting at home in the warm with the pussycat and my mum. We're going to watch some madness tonight. We're going to see the new year in with a bottle of plonk and some and some munchies. Uh, and watch the fireworks over the Thames on my lovely 65-inch 4K TV. I don't think they broadcast the fireworks in 4K, though, do they? They bloody well should do. Yeah, or 3D. Well, that's no good because I haven't got 3D on the TV downstairs. Anyway, I hope you all have a great New Year's celebrations. Some of you have already celebrated. Um, Australia is already in 2019. So Happy New Year to Savannah and anybody in of my Australian viewers. Any other country that's already celebrated it, Happy New Year. And to everybody else, Happy New Year. Have a great, great night, whatever you're doing. Um, thank you for such a wonderful year of YouTubing and Blu-ray hunts and all that kind of shit. Without my viewers, without yourselves, I couldn't do shit. I really wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't for your support and, and your involvement and and ridicule, ridiculing me for some of my movie choices. <laughs> so, yes, Happy New Year, everybody. I love you all and I'll see you in a couple of days in 2019 for our first video of the year. Bye!